Hi, I'm Kylie Taylor and thanks for tuning in. So you have big dreams to look and feel amazing this year. You've written down your goals, you've gone and got professional advice, you're reading your goals every day, but there may be one thing that you've overlooked, one thing that could be the difference between failure or success. Today, I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can manage your friends, your family and your work colleagues so you can stay on track. I love my friends and family, but sometimes it takes some covert management on my behalf to protect my goals. Here are a few things that I do to make sure that I reach my goal and keep my peers happy at the same time. Well, most of them. Number one, eating. Eating before you go out or meet up with friends is super important. It ensures that you're not going to give in to temptation. If you're the host, make sure you put out some healthy options. And if you're going to a friend's place, maybe bring a bowl of something that's healthy and right for you to eat. Number two, drinking. If you're hosting the event, mocktails are a great way to fly under the alcohol radar. If you're going to an event at somebody's house, try to be the designated driver. It's very rare these days that you'll get pressured to drink if you are driving. Remember, alcohol equals acid and acid equals fat retention. Number three, let them know. Looking after yourself and being healthy these days is a lot more accepted than it used to be. Tell your friends what you're doing and why it's important to you. You might get a few allies that will back you up. Number four is positive talk. Make sure you're always talking positively about what you're doing and about your goals. Not saying that if you are having a tough day not to talk to somebody, just make sure that you choose the right friends to lean on. Make sure that they're on the same page as you and understand why you're doing it. Number five, don't preach. You can only change yourself. If you want your friends to be healthier, then lead by example. Don't become the preacher in the group. Number six, get them involved. Asking a friend for some support at the gym can be a great way of getting away from those terrible hangouts like the food court or sitting in front of the TV or going to the pub. Number seven, separate your food. If you're living with other people, the best thing you can do is separate your food from theirs. Get your own shelf in the fridge and prepare your own meals if you have to. With a little forward thinking, you can definitely reach your goal and still do all the other fun stuff with your friends. I'm Kylie Taylor and remember, success is a journey, not a destination. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button below and subscribe. I'd love to have your company and I'd love to hear your comments.